All right, everybody. It is six o'clock p.m. Mountain Time on Wednesday, and welcome to the Wednesday webinar today. Happy 2019. I hope everyone's having a great new year so far. Um, today is uh, going to be a great topic because this week we, of course, introduced some really fun new technology, and uh, we're going to talk about it today. I'm really excited about it. And of course, that technology is all about retention. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Let's see if I can get to that slide here. There we go, here we go. So today is all about retention. Of course, retention is the key to a long lasting st sustainable income. If you're only recruiting and you're not focused on retaining those new customers or those new business partners, you're just leaving money on the table. So at Kayani, we're, we are focused on helping people build lasting, strong businesses. And as part of that, we're focused on helping you retain more people. And so the technology that we introduced this week is all about artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is, is essentially a field of research that, that's all about constructing algorithms that behave in a way that can be deemed intelligent. It, it's sifting through data and, and learning and, and essentially helping us humans uh, solve some problems and do things in better ways. So you see algorithms in action every time you use technology like Facebook or Netflix or Google. There's a, there's a lot of AI technology out there in the business, uh, in the business workplace today. Um, so when they collect, you know, actions and data about you, they make predictions about um, your, your interests and behaviors, and you can use that data in a variety of ways. So what if this level of artificial intelligence, this powerful technology could be used to improve retention in your business? But you can, you've, I'm sure you've seen uh, a lot of examples of how AI powers personalized experiences. That's how AI is used quite a bit. You've probably seen this in Amazon, predicting you know, all kinds of things about you, su suggested uh, items for you. Um, you. AI is used heavily in the airline industry, uh, predicting demand on routes and, and helping to make sure airplanes are where they need to be um, and uh, predicting future traffic. It helps things go more smoothly when in the travel industry. Because the casino industry uses AI to predict uh, it, you know, set things up and and uh, pr uh, predict how long you're going to likely to play a particular game. They use AI to try to get people to stay in those casinos as long as possible, uh, so that they make uh, more money. Retail, it's used in heavily in retail. There's all kinds of examples out there, um, even in terms of of uh, traffic flow and and setting up stores. Uh, and, and how to construct those AI is used heavily. So it, it's a powerful technology. It's used out uh, quite a bit out there, but we think that you should benefit from the same powerful technology that those big corporations uh, use. And so this week we were proud to introduce artificial, artificial intelligence that is gonna help you increase your customer and business partner retention. And that technology is called Kai, we're calling it Kayani Artificial Intelligence. Now let's get back to retention really quick. I wanna show you a couple of businesses here. Now focusing on retention can help every business partner regardless of rank, but I, we found two businesses and they're both diamond, these happen to be diamond businesses, but the same general rule applies regardless of rank. But based on an analysis, we we saw that business number one was fairly unbalanced. They're pretty recruiting heavy. They're, they enroll uh, a lot of customers, a lot of business partners. They're, they're definitely recruiting focused. But, but business number one, these are real examples. Business number one didn't have a very balanced approach in terms of they didn't spend a lot of time um, on retention activities like getting people on auto ship and so on. But business number two was more balanced Yes, they were, they, they were good recruiters, but they didn't quite recruit as many people as business number one. However, they paid a lot of attention to re, 
uh, attention to retention activities in their business. Now, which business, business number one recruited more, but business number two was more balanced and paid more attention to retention. Which one had higher commissions? Of course, it was business number two, even though they weren't enrolling as many. They were keeping people in, they were keeping those customers, keeping those business partners uh, engaged. And so they're earning more money. So Kai is going to help you with these re retention activities. So let's say that this is you and you've got somebody in your team named Sarah. Now, Sarah, let's pretend for a moment that Sarah, some, something happens and she becomes at risk. Maybe she starts doubting or, or second guessing things. Not only is Sarah and maybe a person that she has, uh, has just enrolled, not only are they at risk, but you also have to think in terms of all of the potential future customers and uh, business partner enrollees in that organization that are also at risk. Uh, if, if Sarah decides to not build uh, a Kayani business anymore. So, so it's critical that we do something and, and, and uh, help Sarah see success, keep her engaged, keep her positive and keep, and keep going. So this is where Kai comes in. Kai predicts using all of these, all of this data, all of uh, uh, the data that Kai goes through, he, Kai analyzes 13 million life cycles and hundreds of variables to, to find patterns. And so Kai is looking at these patterns and Kai predicts that Sarah needs attention. She may be at risk, she may need some help. So Kai is going to then calculate Sarah's value, value to date, predicted future value, uh, and, and look at some of those things. And then at that point, Kai is going to determine who the best influencer is going to be, and Kai is going to alert, Kai is going to attempt to help by alerting you. Now let's say you, uh, Kai identifies you as the best influencer, the person best suited to help Sarah stay engaged and, and see success. So the next thing that happens, Kai identifies you as the influencer. Step number one, Kai is gonna send an alert to your phone. Now we are launching Kai first in the US and Canada right now. This is all going to happen via text message so, so through SMS. So you're going to get a text message if she's, if she's determined to be at risk and has a high potential value to your business. Kai contacts you and enables you to focus your efforts on on that on that person so step number two you open the alert for details okay and here's what you're gonna see you're gonna see something like this message on the left Sarah H has been a valuable part of your business so far my data suggests that reaching out to Sarah H may be one of the most beneficial things you can do for your business today so let's make sure we understand the alert here. So we know that Sarah is valuable. Since Kai sent this alert to you, Kai has determined that she is the most uh, valuable. This could be the most value, valuable thing you could do for your business this day to, or today. So Sarah is valuable. Now Kai's gonna, you also may see something from Kai, a suggested topic or, or something, uh, depending on what Kai knows about Sarah's interests. So Kai may suggest something about um, talking to Sarah about the products or helping her place an order or helping her earn some commissions to build her business. Whatever it is that might interest Sarah or keep her engaged, you may see a suggestion from Kai. Now, why me? It's because you're, Kai has identified you as the, as the influencer because you are, it's possible that you're the sponsor or you're, you're, a, closely, uh, you're a close leader in the organization. And then it's important to know that this task that Kai has, has given you is going to expire in 48 hours. And so if you don't take action, this alert will escalate to some, uh, a leader uh, above you in your organization if no action is taken. So it's important that we take action here. Of course, that's, that is a key, a key point here. This is what it's all about. Kai is going to ask you to take action. So. What I want to talk to you about right now is what action should that be? Well, Kai is going to prompt you to, Kai is going to give you a phone number. Now, this won't be 
Sarah's actual phone number. This is just going to be a temporary uh, virtual phone number uh, for Sarah, just specifically for this action. Now you can, you'll be able to tap it and immediately call Sarah, even though that's not her actual number. And I recommend you, you use the number that Kai gives you because then Kai knows that you've actually taken an action. That's a good thing. Now, if you happen to know Sarah personally and she's in your phone's contacts list, can you just go to her contacts, go to your phone's contacts and call her using Sarah's number that you know is her number? Yes, you can, but you'll just definitely want to remember to go back to your chat with Kai and type done uh, as soon as you've taken an action so that Kai at least knows that you've contacted Sarah. So, so just to sum up, I recommend you use the number that Kai gives you, but if you don't, it's not the end of the world. Just make sure that you let Kai know that you've taken an action. So now let's talk really quick about the, about your, the, the message that you, or, you know, what you're going to talk to Sarah about. What we want you to do, there's no script for this. What we really, what the best, uh, the best, you know, method of doing this is not necessarily to, to say anything like, hey, I got an alert that says you might need something or that uh, you're having trouble. That's the last thing we want to say here. Um, what we want you to do is use your existing relationship, which you most likely have with this person. Customize the conversation. Find out what their needs are. Kai may have provided a suggested action, but just talk to this person that you know. Find out what they need. Help them to feel positive and, and optimistic. Help them to see success. Help them place an order. Answer some questions about some product. Whatever it is that their needs are, find out what those are and, and just have a conversation with this person you know and use that relationship. Help them feel good about you, your relationship, and their Kayani business. And that's going to be the most effective thing you can do. Definitely do not read a script of any kind here at this point. Just talk to your friend and, and um, resolve any concerns that they might have. That's the best thing you can do here uh, when you're taking action. So if you take an action, that person, Sarah, is retained. The, the people she's already enrolled and then future enrollees, future, custom, future customers uh, are going to be there. So you're going to see increased income, accelerated recruiting. Uh, and, and the more success you have with these alerts, it's likely that you'll get more because Kai is going to keep an influencer score for everybody. So the more success you have, the better your influencer score will be. And Kai is more likely to choose you as an influencer in the future, depending on your successes. And of course, as over time, Kai is always gathering data. The alerts are going to get smarter as time goes on. So we discussed this. So what happens after 48 hours? Uh, we talked about how that, that alert is going to be escalated. So if you ignore it, that's going to be escalated to a team leader. You don't want that to happen. Your influencer score will go down and your leader will probably wonder why you're not taking care of your team. And of course, you know, if no, if no action is taken, you know, your relationship with that person, you know, may become strained or negative. Something, something may happen there. So Sarah may quit. If no action is taken, income goes down you're gonna receive fewer alerts. That's essentially the bottom line. So what we want you to do is use Kai. We want you to open the alerts when you get them. We want you to take action. And like I said before, whether you use the phone number provided by Kai or you use the phone number in your contacts, whatever, you, whatever the case, we still need you to mark it done. And, and Kai is gonna tell you how to do that. You just simply text the word done. Uh, and then Kai is going to follow up with you with some additional questions and ask you how it went. So with Kai, we want you to support and grow your team, open those alerts, take action, retain people like Sarah, and increase your income. We're we're so excited about Kai and what this means uh, in, in the the technology and and assistance that this is going to provide all of our Kai. Uh, business partners. And what's, what's really cool about Kai is that this is, this is uh, absolutely cutting edge technology that has been very time consuming and, and costly to, 
to produce and release to you. And Kayani is doing all of this and, and giving this to all of our business partners at no cost to you. And uh, I, that just shows the, the commitment that Kayani has uh, with its business partners, uh, the commitment that our founders have to their business partners. And, and that's a really cool thing. If you want uh, some more information, there's some FAQs about Kai. Uh, and more information about Kai at Kai, K-A-I dot Kayani dot com. You can also get there by just going to Kayani dot com and under business partners, you'll see a menu item there called Kai. And so with that, everybody, I, uh, again, I'm so excited. We're so, we've been so excited to introduce this technology with you. Thanks for joining us for this Wednesday webinar. We hope that you have great success and you increase uh, you know, you become more of a balanced business this year as you work on your retention efforts and you continue your, your customer enrollment and business partner enrollment this year. Uh, I wish you a fantastic 2019. I can't wait to see all of you at the upcoming events. We've got some really great things uh, coming this year. We're so excited to be in the Kayani family. And uh, I look forward to personally seeing you at those events. You guys have a great Wednesday night and we'll see you soon.